What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I am here today to tell you that I have found yet another game that I really enjoy. Taking a break from Retail Royale due to a little bit of uh, just needing a break for patience's sake, and in the meantime, I found this lovely game, Rogue Company. Now, it's another free-to-play game. It is a team-based shooter this time, kind of like a mix between Counter-Strike and maybe like, I don't know, Apex Legends per se, but it is a pretty fun experience from what I've seen. This is my first match that I'm playing on PC. I have played it a couple times over on the PlayStation, but I just figured that trying it fresh on the PC would be really fun. And I wasn't wrong. I mean, as you can see, 34 eliminations throughout the game is going to be a really high point for me. And I think that for anyone that is interested in these types of games, if you are good at tactical based shooters, you should feel really at home with this game. Now, Rogue Company does have quite a few uh, microtransactions, it has battle passes and things like that, so it's, it's clearly got its issues as far as my concerns with games are, but it is really just a good general shooter. Now, you'll notice that the graphics in my game play is a little lower, that is because I'm playing on a gaming laptop, and I also am um, of the opinion, personally, and I won't down you for thinking otherwise, that I would rather have more smooth gameplay than graphics overhauls, and I just don't like my computer running at super high temperatures. I really do think when it comes to this game that the mix of melee and shooting play, like I didn't do a lot of melee through that game, but I have in the past when I was playing it off of stream, it really does does make a nice difference, and I really just, I would say that if more people played this so that they could get a feel for it, it could really change up the industry as far as games don't have to be in first person. They really shouldn't just be in first person. And Rogue Company is uh, playable in both first and third person, and I feel like that makes it more marketable for more people. For instance, my wife is incapable of playing first person games because it just bothers her physically, like, she just cannot watch them for long periods of time. It really hinders my ability to play games with her, and it really does make it more difficult, because a lot of the third-person games aren't really either true third-person games, or they don't really stack up well in a multiplayer sense. So to see something like Rogue Company come out and say, hey, we're going to make this game ac accessible for as many people as possible, that is commendable, and I just spot on on that part. I will say that the weapon system and the fact that you just purchase your weapons as you go in each round, that's really nice. I just, I feel like if the winning team is steamrolling the enemy team, kind of like we were doing, the enemy's not going to catch up. Let's just be honest. This is a game where you need to be able to do as good as you can in the middle of a match or just understand that you're going to have to suffer the consequences. And I really don't feel like that should be how gameplay is, but I do respect if that's the mechanic they want to do. I certainly feel like this is a game geared towards esports, which would especially mean they're trying to get those more level-based people, people who are really, really ingrained in tactical shooters or MOBAs as a whole. I think that being said, if there were to be friends to play this with and people to just have a nice chat with and have tactical callouts, this game would be a spot-on 10 out of 10. As far as traditional shooters go, I mean, it is pretty run of the mill. There are limited weapons. It runs a lot like the traditional Counter Strike game. But I think in that regard, there is just a lot of positivity that can come for it. Like, I don't know. I'm a big proponent, like I was saying in the Retail Royale videos, check those out if you haven't, that, you know, video games should be more fun than they are graphically appealing, if that is the case. Like, if you have a low budget, then make sure that you are using that budget effectively. Like, the game is meant to entertain people. And at the end of the day, I think that is something that Rogue Company really does accomplish quite well. And if more games could go along this margin, like, yeah, you can make money with some microtransactions, you can make some money with some battle passes if you're going to have good, solid combat and good, solid gameplay. Now, you know, I've played a couple matches on my PlayStation. I'm starting to play this on PC so I can document it more. So obviously I have some experience and I'm playing in some newer lobbies.
That being said, even as a returning player, the gameplay is still consistent, even against newer players, even against people who haven't really played the game, or if they have, you know, they're still learning. This game is still competitively fun, and that is a great thing. From pick up to put down to pick up again, you will have entertainment, at least from my perspective. Now, granted, I could be just a guppy that is easily manipulated, I could be someone easily entertained, that is very much a possibility, but at the end of the day I think that it doesn't really matter, and I keep saying that word and I really get that, so we might just name this video at the end of the day, because I really do think that it is a good game, and I keep elaborating on it, and since it's freeform I just haven't had any other way to say it. But moving on, I think that the best way to play this game is honestly to run and gun, don't worry too much about you know, tactically trying to flank the enemy or move with it. Stay with your team, use your ability as need be, and focus on gunplay from what I've seen. Your operators will depend on how chunky or defensive you are. For instance, I'm playing as Trench in this, and I have an old Trench skin for him. I don't know if that's available for everyone. It's just what I've been using. And it is, it seems he is a very chunky individual. Uh, you'll see I add some armor later on in the match, and that really does make a difference. Trying to get your allies to heal you is probably a good way to be a good teammate, because it allows them to get points as as well. It also restricts the amount of tickets that are consumed. Uh, at the top you'll see there are like 16 tickets in the in this particular mode. I'm playing on stakeout because that's the only mode available until level 4. So until level 4 we will only be playing stakeout and uh, it seems to be pretty fun. I'm not too much of a fan of being level locked on like 6v6 team fights but maybe people are just so awesome at the game and godlike that I'm just gonna get my fun in now and then once stakeout is over it'll be like oh no I'm not enjoying this anymore but otherwise hopefully not uh some valid criticisms I have is that the reloads are really quick and I think that that almost is too beneficial to the player uh like a, a two second reload on an assault rifle is really quick especially when I'm putting out that much firepower and uh yeah I think that the only thing that stopped me was when I I ran out of ammo and had to switch to a semi-automatic pistol that I still was dropping people with. You really just should try to add a level of balance to it that otherwise you could- you could have it, you could not. It's the only real criticism I have, besides I hate microtransactions and I hate battle passes with a fury, especially ones that have paywalls behind them. I understand you need to keep the lights on in some way, but you would think adding more content versus adding more cosmetics would be the way to go. That being said, I played this game when it was in its beta a little bit, and quite honestly, this has some of the best development as far as new characters that I've seen. Like, there's there's more playable characters in this than I think there is in Apex Legends. There is more weaponry in this available to you consistently than there is in Apex Legends. And I could be wrong about that completely. I haven't played Apex in quite a while. I don't plan on it. EA is a monster in its own right, but I'm not here to make a video about that. If you like what you saw, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Share it around with your friends and family. Uh, this has been Skull D, and have a great day.